Now on nine in the last 90 minutes, North Carolina reported the highest single day increase in COVID cases that we have ever seen. The state reported 18,571 new cases today. You can see that giant spike right there on this graph. That is 54% higher than the previous record set on the February of this year at 12,079 cases. North Carolina also reported its highest positivity rate at 22%. And in the last two hours, we got a COVID update from Mecklenburg County health leaders who say just in the last week, cases here have increased by nearly threefold. The percentage of positive tests is around 15% and the number of people hospitalized is also going up and that is putting a strain on our local hospital systems. Leaders also said the demand that they are seeing for testing is unprecedented and they are just trying to keep up. We know that the testing has been limited, right? It's been it's been challenging it, at the um, at the urgent cares. They've been overwhelmed. The tests have been sold out. The rapid tests at many of the local pharmacies. Uh, we are working closely with our testing partners, including our health systems, as well as our community testing providers, to make sure that we are doing everything to make testing as widely available as possible. Well, nearly every day for the past week, we have seen long lines like this outside of Star Med's location in West Charlotte. They have been working tirelessly to meet that demand, even after 20 of their own employees tested positive yesterday. Channel 9's Anthony Castora has been following this demand for us since the holiday started. He is live outside of Star Med's East Charlotte location tonight. Anthony. Yeah, good evening, Genevieve. We know that these at home rapid tests are incredibly hard to come by. That's why so many people have been relying on testing locations like Star Med's Eastland location right here in East Charlotte. But you can see they closed down early today because they didn't have the staffing or the tests. Two, three, even four hour wait times at Star Med testing locations across the city, like this one in West Charlotte. CEO Mike Estramonte doesn't think it'll slow down anytime soon with possible case surges well into the new year. We're willing to take any help we can get right now. Help that's hard to come by. Right now, StarMed is hiring dozens of workers each day to run these sites with assistance from the National Guard. But with more than 20 StarMed employees out of work because of COVID, Estramonte says even he's on the front lines to keep up with demand. I was out directing traffic. I did a few nasal swabs myself. And I'm happy to do what I can. It's also taking a toll on volunteers like Dawn Hand, who is awaiting her COVID test results out of an abundance of caution after helping at a site this week. She says it's a massive undertaking during cold and flu season when all kinds of symptoms are present and people want to know if they're spreading the virus. It's, it's been very difficult for people who want to try to do the right thing to get tested so they can be responsible, follow protocols. It's been very difficult. Estramonte says he's trying to make do with the challenges. StarMed will launch this mobile testing clinic Friday at 4th and Tryon Streets in Uptown. It's also expecting to receive 90,000 new test kits Friday morning to help with demand. But don't expect those long lines to dwindle. Estramonte has this message. You know, we've lost a lot of people due, due to COVID. Just be patient with the process. And in that press conference from earlier today, Dr. Reynard Washington said the county is expecting to receive a handful of these tests sometime early next week. Once that happens, they should be available at select libraries for pickup. He also mentioned the county is looking at expanding its testing sites as well by uh, working with other providers. Uh, back to you. Yeah, we know they are also looking to hire a bunch of people too. Anthony, thank you.